The U.S. is vowing to degrade and destroy the Islamic State group. President Obama made that pledge after it was confirmed that a second American reporter had been executed by the jihadist militants. A gruesome video of the killing of Stephen Sotloff, who was taken captive more than a year ago, emerged on Tuesday. He'd previously been seen in the video where another U.S. journalist, James Foley, was beheaded. Again, the killer had a British accent. The latest video saw him threaten the execution of a third journalist now. The jihadists claim the killings are reprisals for U.S. airstrikes against them in Iraq. Middle East expert Joshua Landis told me that the fight against Islamic State militants will turn into another Afghanistan for the United States. It's very difficult in this situation because ISIS dominates a, a region the size of Great Britain in both Syria and Iraq. If you're going to destroy them and kill them uh, and, and hit their buildings, you have to have somebody else to replace them. Otherwise, they'll just spring up and you'll infuriate the Sunnis that are trapped in between Baghdad and Damascus. So the U.S. has to come up with a strategy. Somebody has to pay for it. And there has to be an exit strategy. And, and Obama does not want to get stuck in some swamp the way the U.S. did in Iraq originally or in Afghanistan without an exit strategy.